videos but I actually you know I do whatever I feel like uh, doing and I know that I haven't finished recording the first uh, version of the demo but they made a change in everything and I actually did try to record the video yesterday but something messed up in there and it it pissed me off uh, so I will probably uh, well, it's more for me than it is for you guys, but I will probably repeat myself. Uh, and I, I really, really hate repeating myself in videos, but if it's really important, I do it. Uh, and I hate repeating myself because I want to keep my videos um, as, uh, as true, if you can say that, as possible. Like, not faking it or something like that. Or, so, you know. <laughs> Anyway, uh, the developers made a new demo and I, you will see. I don't know how many parts uh, I'll do. I'll try to do this part a little um, longer than what I planned or at least try. But it's it's probably going to be at least three parts. I don't, I don't know how long the demo is, but at least three parts. Um, so yeah, <laughs> so without further ado, let's get into the demo. Uh, so welcome to beta demo version 2. Beauty and the War is the first official arc of the x plane Fitness series. If you've played any other games set in this universe, those are prequels, offshots, fun training grounds. As a demo, please note that the content in this game is subject to change in the full version. The full version will have complete voice acting, but since this is a demo, we're only going to give you a taste in the form of partial voice acting. That's okay, it's hard. I know it's hard. If you want the full experience, please be patient and wait for the complete version. I don't like being patient, I want the full version already. <laughs> Are you ready? We hope you enjoy your stay in the world of beauty and war explain pieces. If you have the time, please feel free to share your thoughts with the developers after playing. Have fun! I will send the link to this video to, to the developers and hopefully they will have time to watch it. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay, so this is pretty much the same uh, as the first uh, version of the demo. Before I met you, life in prison was like any other. <laughs> You'll see why I'm so excited. I'll explain later into this video. Did the morons really think I couldn't hear them whispering every time I walked past? Don't make his eyes. Don't even look at him. Get him moved. Don't get in his way. <laughs> in this dank hole of a prison? I'm at the top of the food chain, the top dog, the kingpin, the big fish, yada yada yada. Mm -hmm. You catch my drift. I, I love the voice acting. Of course, there's always some big headed bozo who thinks he can knock me off my pedestal. So, I'll have to put him in his place. <laughs> I'll make sure you never use that hand the same way again. <laughs> Actually, I'll break every bone in your body. I'll just start with your grimy fingers first. <laughs> Hot. 
like I said, the same old, same old. Okay, but all of the characters in the game are hot. Well, I'm referring mostly to the male, but holy shit. <laughs> A real monotonous bore. If you're wondering why the useless guards are just loafing around, being a waste of space, and not doing anything to keep these idiots from becoming bloody pulps, <laughs> you can forget about them. They don't care about us animals. <laughs> if someone bleeds out, all the better. That's one less lowlife for them to watch over. I love the music in the background. Really? If you ask me? They get off on it. <laughs> Just a dirtbag. I don't love you. Anyway, I was in the middle of that old song and dance routine until you showed up. I didn't even know you were there until you had climbed over the railing on the second floor and jumped at me. Okay, I am quite curious about uh, the bloody part. You jumped me. I'm not sure how you call it, but I think it's called a sprite. It looks... It's just... It's amazing. And kissed me. Smudge. <laughs> My version. Please. <laughs> I love her so much. Before you could say more than a single word... <laughs> The guards finally decided to pull their weight and dragged you away from me. Please. Just what was it you were going to say? You would come at me from the second floor, en route to cell block B. That meant you were with the Hearts Division. Hmm. Fancy title, but doesn't really mean anything. You know the Wardens just like to corral us into groups like cattle. So, you were with the Hearts Division, and clearly knew. Hmm. When you've been here for as long as I have, you know everybody. And if I had seen you before today, trust me, I would remember. Hmm. I think I saw you a few hours back, far away, out of the corner of my eye. You were sort of being pushed around by those cows from the Scarlatina Sisters, one of the female gangs here. But you really didn't seem to be getting along with them, so it wasn't likely you'd join them. And without protection, you didn't look like someone who'd last long on your own. My poor Ambrosia. My group, the Spade Division, yeah, their schedule rarely crossed over with yours, but... There were exceptions, if you knew where to look. With Spade at lunch break, your heart's div had a hygiene break, which meant it was showering time. Not co-ed, sadly. <laughs> Lucky for me, you didn't stick with the herd. It was just like I thought. You weren't getting along with the Scarlatina gang. All the other chicks in your division had gone, off to use up their extra minutes on whatever boring thing they do for recess. But I didn't count you among them. Maybe you were just slow at moving out, but there was my opening. I headed over, and instead of walking towards the men's side, I went to yours. No one stopped me, of course. <laughs> Pervert. Remember, the guards like a show. And what's better than getting their rocks off after a bloody spectacle? Don't know what I'm talking about? It's all right. It's probably better you don't know what they thought I was going to do there. Oh, I know. As I was saying, I came over, and the first thing I saw was that cut on your back. An incredibly tiny thing, but clearly the work of the Strike Master. Your punishment for broken out of schedule and crossing over to my group. Your first strike. Out of all the sadistic wardens running this shoddy joint, 
Let me tell you, you did not want to get sent to the Strike Master. Can I just say how much I love um, the, I would call it uh, CGs. I, I love it. It looks way different. At the beginning when I saw it, I was like, mm, but it's, f I mean, it's, it's so freaking good. I mean, just look at the difference uh, between this and the first uh, demo. It's, it's such a huge change with the character uh, design as well. The uh, the first version of Ambrosia and this Ambrosia are so different. And as I said at the beginning, I didn't like it, but now holy shit, I I love the design. Strike one and two was always a slap on the wrist, or at least the closest he could get to that. Okay, he said it was her first strike, and he. And here he says strike one and two was always a slap on the wrist, or at least the closest he could get to that. Yet Ambrosia had um, a mark on her back. So I wonder what made her win uh, that kind of mark when he's usually going for a slap. Strike three, on the other hand, trust me when I say you do not want to get to strike three. <laughs> Judging by how fast you yank that towel against your chest, I could tell you were happy to see me. Someone is following himself. So, what is it? X present form, regular, not above features, tan skin, tattoos, fire constantly burning in his eyes. I love it. Looks you shouldn't be here. You came to me. You jumped straight from the second floor. Can I just say that in here, he kind of looks like arsenic. Kind of. When I was in full out Aries mode. I still need to figure out what he means by Aries mode. Ambrosia. You wanted my attention, and now you have it. I love the fact that his clock is, uh, okay, clock is like spotted with blood. Well, mm, it's so hot. Can I just say that I have a thing for guys with, uh, well, again, guys with tan skin and uh, red eyes. If you've seen my other videos, you've seen that my favorite character from... my favorite guy from a game called the Nickelheim is Jean. <laughs> and there are similarities here, so... <laughs> I'm sure you were overflowing with excitement. But right at that moment, I heard something. Yeah, and I also say that I also have a beauty mark right here, somewhere. So I'm like, hey, I have something in common with Ambrosia. A footstep. Someone was coming. Also, this one is really good as well. This, um, I'm not sure what the difference between a spine and a sticky is. Someone educate me. <laughs> Probably not one of the useless guards. You could hear the clack of their boots from a mile away. But maybe one of the Scarlatina sisters was coming to finish you off. He could continue this conversation at a more... <laughs> I could tell you would be crazy under the sheets just by how fiercely you kept beating your small fists against my chest. Oh. <laughs> you were definitely a wild ride, but I managed to hold on, huh? waiting to hear those nutty footsteps go in the opposite direction. I love the fact that the, it's not very, uh, I mean, it's 
obviously sexual, but it's not, um, how do you say that? Like, it's not directly sexual. Like, he's not saying, uh, you know, something way too forward about it. I like that it's subtle, but you still understand what it's talking about. I love it. I love everything about this. When they finally did, one of your hands just so happened to fly against my face, and I felt your nails slice across my cheek. Just happened to fly against my face. It wasn't on purpose. It was flattering to see just how hot and bothered I made ya. You're welcome, princess. I don't think you realize just how hard it was to see you, what with our conflicting schedules. So, I decided to have you work. This time, you would have to come find me. And find me you did. Ten minutes before Spade's lunch break ended and right when hearts began, you showed up. And the, f and the first time I tried recording, I thought it's a pokey. <laughs> okay, just a second. I noticed you straight off. Even without the wolf whistles telling me you were waltzing across the room. Wolf whistles? Is that, like, is that how he calls cat calling? <laughs> <laughs> When you stopped in front of my table, you were the total picture of poise and elegance. That's because that's Ambrosia and she is all of that and she's beautiful and she's fierce. You made the daintiest bow that I had a feeling was a habitual greeting for you. Your gaze and your body were like fire, she's but your so words beautiful. were like ice. Please don't touch me again. A little late for that, don't you think? Besides, you should be thanking me. No one bothered you on the way here, did they? Mm -hmm. And you're attributing that to your credit? That I also said uh, in my first recording, that yes, it is, even before I knew what he's going to say, he's crediting it for himself because he is the top dog in there. And so he claimed her uh, as his. So since everybody else uh, know that he claimed her as his, uh, so no one will dare to touch her because they know that uh, he will uh, break their bones. Or horse. Yep. <laughs> That's also an answer. <laughs> no one would dare to touch X's woman. Like I said. Now, to be fair, I don't know if the one who saw us will spread it around. But more than a few are bound to have seen you walking out after I did. This prison's like a village. Rumors spread like wildfire. All you need is a whisper. Mm -hmm. You're saying you forced yourself on me because someone was approaching us. I mean, I'm. That I think I also said that in my first recording, but I'm all against uh, forcing. Obviously, uh, forcing yourself on someone is wrong. Whatever you are, female on a male, male on a female, or whatever, this is wrong. But in this case, it pre uh, there is a possibility that he saved her life because you don't know who tried to come for her. So. It was either someone that she probably looked for, I mean, a pervert, but looked for, that uh, kissed her and forced himself, forced a kiss on her, or someone that would take her life. And X so far haven't tried to do anything more than a kiss, so, I mean, that's just how I see it. 
someone who left us alone because of my quick thinking, and now we can talk as much as we like without anyone wondering why. <laughs> why do you have to put it like that? You're making me sound like a creep when you're the one who made the first move. You shouldn't start something you aren't prepared to finish, princess. <laughs> Unless you only like it when you're in charge. <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, yes you do. <laughs> yes you do, I'm virgin. Don't act innocent. Sure you don't. <laughs> See? He gets me. Have a seat, princess. It's weird for my woman to be standing up while we're having lunch. I hope you realize I'm not yours any more than you're mine. I'm sorry, I already sheep you. I'm sorry. Are you planning on correcting anyone who thinks otherwise? Do that and you'll end up dead on Persia. I don't want that. I love you too much. If you're trying to spread a rumor, I don't see why you couldn't have simply pretended to kiss me. How can you pretend to kiss someone? I mean... From what I saw, they I don't think he could pretend. At the very least, I would have appreciated the courtesy of a warning. It's called quick thinking, Ambrosia honey. And miss a perfectly good excuse to kiss you? No thank you. Pervert. You asked me what it was I wanted to tell you. I came to you for one reason alone. Please help me. Oh, she's so beautiful. It seems my reputation precedes me. You've been here for what? Less than five hours? Already, you're primed and ready to throw yourself at me. <laughs> you should guys know what he means. Hearsay isn't the reason I sought you out. You're different from the others, aren't you? So are you. In case you haven't realized it yet, you stick out like a sore thumb. And not just because you're one of the few women with a pretty face here. First off, the Wardens gave all of us here something to suppress our abilities. Like my earrings, see? Each one has varying degrees of suppression. Your mask of shiny gold lace? That one suppresses 100% of your abilities. Hmm. Second of all, you're the only one still in chains. And believe me, that's no oversight on the Warden's part. Oh yeah, I didn't realize that she's still in chains. Last but not least, this is a prison for only the worst of the worst. The creme de la creme, you could say. And every criminal here had to have gone through the arena. You went through it too, I'm sure. I'm sure you're aware that only the survivors make it here. Only the victors. Hmm. You might look like a frail, delicate little princess, but everything about you screams danger. And you expect me to help you when I don't even know your name? I am known as Borja of the Phoenix Clan. The what clan now? The Phoenix? Hmm. Yes, I am Ambrosia of the Phoenix Clan, one of many on Borgo Island. <laughs> that has got to be either the lamest joke or the worst lie I've ever heard. Hmm. Okay, so from that we can learn that either they are not on Virgo Island or that Virgo Island isn't that well known. Is it really so difficult to believe? Please, do not be so hasty as to assume that it is false. Yes, I don't believe I've given you any reason to doubt me, good sir. No, you might as well tell me that you come from the land of fairy tale and make-believe. Care to try again, sweetheart? Your Highness. Huh? <laughs> You've been calling me princess 
for a while now. In that case, it would only be proper to address me as such. <laughs> You're seriously a princess, Marshmallow? Marshmallow? <laughs> Maybe I could be a queen. <laughs> you just have to listen to my story then, won't you? <laughs> I'm sure it'll be a whopper of a tale. Oh well, go ahead. At least it'll pass the time. Want a bite? Yeah. There's definitely more than enough slop for the two of us to share. Surely you must wish to escape this place as well, Sir X. So what if I do? No offense, but I'm not going to be able to break out of a closet with only a nutcase on my loyal side. You need a head to go with that pretty face. <laughs> Who said she doesn't have one? Hmm, some say the greatest people are mad. A stroke of genius could be what frees you from here. Mm -hmm. You don't say. I'll hail the Mad Queen. I love you, Ambrosia. You're my Mad Queen. I'm starting to get an idea of how you ended up here. Though, it's beyond me why the Wardens didn't just ship you off to an asylum. You seem to have a bad habit of leaping to conclusions, Sir X. Oi, what's with <laughs> the sir? I'm not a knight. I wasn't implying you were one. Far from it. Let me not make the same mistake as you. Tell me who you were, if you will. I would like to hear where you came from and how you came to be here. <laughs> Getting scared you cashed in your chips with the wrong fella? You're my sweetheart. <laughs> Why shouldn't I like to learn everything there is to know about you? I shipped them so hard. <laughs> I really don't kiss strangers. Oh, really? Did we happen to know each other in a past life then, Miss Don't Touch Me? <laughs> ah, so you are like a cat with nine lives? <laughs> That's too cute. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing so exciting as that. <laughs> anyway, ladies first. How did you really end up locked up here? What do you do? I don't know. Uh, wrong <laughs> answer. You know I'm not the jury, right? You don't have to pretend that you were asleep when the crime took place or that the dog ate your homework. You're already in and no one's judging. It's the truth. I don't know how I arrived in this place. I just woke up here. Seriously, woman? Okay, then what were you doing before you woke up and discovered your brand new home? I opened a door. You opened a door? You know, I'm not asking how you got into your cell, <laughs> though Last I checked, the guards don't let us open any doors on our own here. They'd wipe our butts for us if they could. Hmm. I don't mean any door here. It's complicated. It'll take time to explain. Hmm. Well, we're locked up here until the day we die. We have all the time in the world, Marshmallow. <laughs> Marshmallow. I do believe it's your turn, dear. <laughs> I know. You were getting all excited for it. Well, before I met you. And that's what I've been up to before running into you, in a nutshell. I want to know! <laughs> now, if you want to know what I did, you'll have to give me more than you opening a door. <laughs> Gladly so, but your imagination is certainly something. You've given her a counter a most scandalous beginning. You mean when you jumped down and kissed me? 
I'm just telling it like it is. You accuse me of making up stories, but you weave some fine tales yourself. More so long after your jests have lost the humor. Hmm. It isn't charming at all. You see me laughing? Oh, funny. <laughs> I know you're embarrassed. Don't know why you would be, but don't you think we've gone past denial? I mean, we both know what happened. Yes, I fell on you, and I have no doubt that we gave each other quite the headache. Though, I feel it has rattled you more than I. Huh? You're only saying you crashed into me? Then, you don't remember. Are they? Are her clothes different? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they are different from uh, what she's wearing at the moment, but no. Were you really seeing that many stars? <laughs> He's flushing! <W> well, <laughs> what I mean is, it's just like kissing. We were within kissing distance. <laughs> Look at him flushing! <laughs> you were giving me the kiss of pain, that's what. <laughs> You can kiss my butt. Mm -hmm. That, that totally, totally makes, makes sense. sense. <laughs> Not? I didn't mean to make such a sudden and painful greeting. Oh, so painful. I only knew I had to reach you somehow. Look at her, she's so freaking perfect. That, that again. again. Why, Why is, is she, she so sure, sure about me? me? Because that's Ambrosia. <laughs> She shouldn't be able to use any special abilities, so I can rule that out, right? Hmm, depends. Just what does this woman know? A lot of stuff, and I'm waiting to see what kind of stuff. So, opening a door... Is that the beginning of a joke? Fairy tale stuff and phoenixes. <laughs> Start talking, princess. No. Nope. Oh, wait. Your Highness. <laughs> very well. Since you said it so very nicely. Mm -hmm. Shall I not reward your patience? You shall. You shall. <laughs> so I'll beautiful. convince you that Vogel Island exists. Tall order. Can't say I'll be placing any money on you. But consider your challenge accepted. Let me begin with what happened five years ago. Yes, with the war that brought Virgo Island under one rule. This is where I stop the first part and I don't know how many acts are in the game. Close your wait, eyes. Wait, wait! <laughs> this is where I finish the first part. Uh, so far I'm really interested in the demo. I love the voice acting. I like how... I like the new... Um, how do you say it? Intro to the demo. It's it looks really really good and if it if I'm falling in love with the game when it's not even finished yet I bet that when it's finished I'll love it even more and just yeah I don't know if you heard that <laughs> that was my stomach uh, I just want to say that poison apples is really does uh, put all their hearts into the game and when they and they're working on the demo and they're also trying to answer the fans and it's it's pretty amazing and thank you so much for being such an amazing company and making such a great game 
I mean, I know I started uh, getting into the game because of Blanket Guy, but I'm actually really interested now with all the other characters as well. So like, I just want this game to be ready already. Ready already. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this part and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!